starting the day off right. Wink, <laughs> wink. Am I right? <laughs> Good morning everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and turn on that bell notification so you don't miss any future content from this channel. So welcome to today. Today is going to be another studio vlog because I have a lot to do for planning with a Scorpio both on Etsy and Shopify today. And I thought it would be a cool day to bring you along because there's stuff going on. So firstly, we did do a Grubhub order of Dunkin' this morning. so. I've got my medium iced coffee right here, and I also have a breakfast sandwich and some hash browns, and this just arrived, so I'm going to take a break to eat. It is 9.07 in the morning. So far, I've taken a shower. I've brought in down the orders that are going to get picked up by USPS today, and I started working on our Mother's Day greeting card design, which is going to launch tomorrow, so i got to get pumping on that, but I will go over my to-do list with y'all after I eat this breakfast, so let's get to it. Why is really tired? Oh, uh, yeah. She has this little straw wrapper as her little friend. Yeah. Alrighty, y'all. So as you can see, it is now 9.32. So I've eaten breakfast. I feel a lot more ready to go. So this is my planner. And so I'm gonna talk y'all through the to-do list for today, what we gotta get on, and some stuff that needs to get added onto here. So so far I have, I need to film. My video for tomorrow has not been filmed yet. Oops, so I gotta film that. Um, I've been intentionally waiting because we are gonna do a product launch tomorrow and I wanna be able to showcase those products in the video. So I'm gonna get those products done first this morning so they can go in the video. Um, I wanna take inventory, so I'm starting to run low on materials. Like I fully ran out of craft paper, so I had to temporarily pull my craft paper envelopes from my shop because I'm literally completely out of craft paper. So I wanna go ahead and do inventory of like my shipping envelopes, my sticker paper, lamination pockets, like everything I use because it seems like stuff is starting to get low, which is really exciting, but also I need to reorder. Um, then I need to fulfill orders. So last night I only had two orders. I woke up to two more orders, which is exciting, but they are very large. Um, so <laughs> I'm going to try to fulfill three of the four today. Um, only because the fourth one is like 36 cash envelopes, which is so exciting. Um, but also I'm waiting on a new printer coming in tomorrow. So I'm very low on ink in my current printer because I'm waiting for that one to come in. So I think I'd rather wait, um, to do that order with the new printer if that makes sense so i have time to fulfill that so i'm not worried about it but we're going to fulfill the rest of those orders today then i already brought the orders downstairs that are getting shipped today so i can check that off and then because i do usps pickup right now um because of quarantine uh, i don't want to be going back and forth to the post office multiple times a week so my mail carrier can just pick it up when they bring the mail then i need to edit the video that i'm going to film today I have a meeting with Anani's sister actually because we're going to do a little collaboration but that's not till 5 p.m. and then I need to finalize and print the Mother's Day cards. So that's what's going on today and then I have some stuff already blocked out um, for tomorrow so if I have any extra time we'll spill into that list but I also desperately need to clean my studio. Let me just show you what I mean. And I just have stuff kind of everywhere especially recycling so i need to take out all of this recycling at some point so if i have extra time today i think that is going to be the move because it's getting very chaotic over there what don't you say viva she's like i'm tired <laughs> but so the very first thing i'm going to do is finalize the design i was doing over here earlier so it's the first mother's day card which if i zoom it in you might be able to see but it's the I love you a latte card and so this is going to be available with a bunch of different um, like labels on it so we have it for mom, for dad, for nana, for moms, for dads, for parents, aunts, uncles um, and then you can always custom it so if it's not the name you need um, I want it to be as inclusive as possible with this card without kind of offering so many overwhelming options so I'm going to work on just doing some prints of that I'm only going to print about like three or four of the word choices and then the rest I'll just do like in a digital image just to save on paper um but yeah so that's something I'm going to do today and then we have one other card coming out as well that Anani's just finishing the graphics up on right now and they all all have matching sticker sheets so here is the one that I did yesterday I already put one in my planner <laughs> but this is the matching sticker sheet for that card and then also you obviously get a die cut of that with the card 
So those are going to get launched tomorrow, so I'm really excited about that. I'm also deciding I'm pretty much going to only do product launches on Fridays from here on forward, just because I think it can be a little overwhelming to launch like product after product throughout the week, because for the customer it's a little hard to decide when you want to order. Um, so from now on I'm going to just do bigger product launches only on Fridays. So tomorrow is going to be the Mother's Day launch, so we're going to be working on that a lot today. So I'm going to finish this up and then probably I will check back in with you when I have some test prints to show you. Oh, also, I'm actually going to do something in the background while I'm editing this, so I'm completely out of my freebies for my um, budget sticker pack, so I'm going to print that and let the Cricut cut those out, and I also need to print a couple more of just the budget sticker sheets that are for sale because with the orders I have currently, it's going to be sold out um, in my inventory, so I just need to print a couple more of those, so I'm going to get that going because the Cricut can do its thing while I'm doing my thing. wanted to share with y'all isn't this the most satisfying thing I love that <laughs> the current state of <laughs> my workspace <laughs> oh, oh my god things are getting wild but I have my little so these are the little um I just need to like trim the edges where it peeled up weird but um, these are the little samplers I like to include of my budget sticker pack with cash envelope orders. And then here is what the actual um, sticker sheets look like. So I'm printing off a good amount of these because I have an order to fulfill of three of these, um, as well as these are cash envelopes. So basically I just like am mass printing all the cash envelopes and then later I'm gonna sit down and construct them. But I just completely ran out of ink. So luckily I had a backup cartridge because I need to make it through. This printer's gotta make it through today. It's got a couple more things I need to print before the new printer comes in, so hopefully we make it. Alrighty y'all, so it is update time. It is 10.30, so I've been working for about an hour, and I have all of the stuff printed out that I need to fulfill. So I've packaged up a card for photos. I wrote do not sell in the back because I wanna print all of these greeting cards out of my new printer. Since it's a full page image, it looks kinda streaky on my old printer, but it will be fun and for uh, image photography, which is great, because then I'll be able to still launch the products on time. Um, and then I packaged up the stickers someone ordered, and I have all of the printed um, cash envelopes. I still need to cut and laminate all of those, but they're all printed out, ready to go for the orders I'm going to be fulfilling today. So I'm actually going to take some time now to take inventory of all of my materials because I'm running very, very low on paper and sticker paper, and I want to get that Amazon order in this morning so that today still counts as a business day and I get it sooner. So. I'm gonna take inventory right now, and then I'll show y'all what we gotta order. All right, y'all, so I just took inventory, and basically I need to order more sticker paper. I'm down to 25 sheets only, and laminate, I'm down to 19 pockets, so I need to order that ASAP because I actually have orders outstanding that are gonna need more than that, so hopefully I can get that in there very soon. Um, envelopes, I have 37, but they come in packs of 50, so I'm just going to order another pack because they're inexpensive, good to have around, and I'm doing a card launch this weekend, so I want to be safe rather than sorry and just start doing this more often now that my orders are picking up. So I'm going to place an order for those three things right now. Little rye break. <laughs> She's loving it. Oh my god. <laughs> you like your auntie's massage. <laughs> Oh, uh, new techniques. She's like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, you can tell by the tail. Oh, oh my god, her head is like leaning back. Oh, she's falling asleep. Mm. All right, y'all. So it is 11:30. So this is probably the last thing I'm gonna do before I take lunch break. But I want to just bang out these cash envelopes for two of my orders. So I have. 18 envelopes here that I'm going to be cutting and laminating. This box just has my laminated pockets in it. And then I also have my A6 punch over here for the ones that need to be punched. So I'm going to time lapse this for you all so you can see how satisfying it is, but you don't have to see how long it takes. And I have my laptop here because I'm just going to watch some YouTube in the background, but let's get these done. This is the carnage 
Um, I have a couple that I redid just because there was like a lot of lint inside the laminate and I don't want to send that to anyone. But here they are. So I have the six pack that are not punched. And then I have this pack. I'm not going to show you all these because they have labels. Um, but I have this pack which don't have labels and they are all punched for A6 and they came out really, really well, thankfully. Sometimes I have to remake them like not all of them of course but a couple like more than once or twice but i finally got a good groove and i know exactly how i like to measure things so these are all good to go now so i'm gonna take a lunch break show i'll show you what i'm eating in case you're interested um but then i will be packaging these orders with y'all in the studio i am back from lunch now just finished up just watched some jeopardy while i ate and i'm going to package orders technically three orders um, but I'm gonna be packaging two because two of them is going to the same place and then I'm gonna show y'all How I package so what goes into creating my packaging and sending it off to you lovely customers I just printed my shipping labels which you will not be seeing because that has people's addresses on it um, But I'm gonna go ahead and show you the rest of my packaging process and what I do So I'm gonna change this angle so you're just kind of seeing my workstation here instead of my whole body I think this is a pretty decent angle so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I package up my orders so the first thing I'm going to do is grab a piece of black tissue. Oh, I grabbed two. That's fine. We're going to need it anyway. And I'm going to go ahead and lay that out right here. And so the first order I'm going to package is the one that was two separate orders. And so it was an order of six of the Kawaii Fruit Cash Envelopes, not punched, as well as three sheets of my budget planner stickers. And so I put the three in the same um, glassine bag so that there's just one piece of cardboard being used. And the cardboard is just to help it not bend. And I put a little recycle note on the back so you know why there's a piece of cardboard in there. Um, and so it keeps the stickers nice and sturdy. And I use glassine instead of cellophane because it is recyclable. So I put that there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab, right over here I have this box. Um, these are business cards I ordered from Canva. So I designed it and then purchased them. And I actually had to put a sticker over it since I have made my Shopify store. Um, I want to put that as my main link. And they're like a soft touch material. They're really fun. Um, so I put that in there. And then I'm going to grab a thank you card from the closet. I print my thank you cards here on the same cardstock I print my greeting cards. And so I lay all of this in here. And I'm just going to go ahead and center it a little bit better. There we go. Then I fold it the short way, usually, it kind of depends on what I'm packing, but especially for cash envelopes, I will fold it the short way. Then I'm gonna grab my little tape box. I have this random cardboard box, um, and this is where I keep like my tape and my twine and everything, so I just grab some plain old, this is Scotch Matte Finish Magic, doesn't really matter. Um, I just use a small piece of this to tape the tissue paper together right there then i'm gonna fold the sides in so i do like a triangle type of thing i'm not the best at wrapping stuff y'all so i try my best because i want it to at least look pretty cute and be like inviting and exciting when you receive it so i fold it like that i usually use the tape to hold it down do the same on the other side like that Boom. Oh. No, come on. See, now I'm all under pressure because y'all are watching. Just kidding. But <laughs> so then I fold it like that. So it's like this little parcel. Then I take my twine right here. And I kind of just eyeball it. I honestly don't know exactly how much twine I use. Um, but I've been doing it for a while. So I kind of know. Just reaching over here to get scissors cut that then I go ahead and put the twine around and do it like that so I can keep it nice and cinched and I feel like this helps keep the item safer during transit too um, and then I just do that again make a bow oh, this is a good amount sometimes i have to cut the ends but this was good and just tighten it up real nice so that's the little packet 
Um, I used to put my thank you card on the outside, but I just started putting it inside recently. Um, then I like to throw in some freebies. So this is kind of where I keep all of my extra die cuts that I can use as freebies. And I also printed these ones with y'all today. So I'm gonna be throwing in one of these. Actually, I'm gonna give her two different die cuts because she bought these as a uh, sticker sheet. So she doesn't really need a freebie of it, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a birthday rye because it's one of my favorites. It's so cute. And I'm gonna throw in a superhero rye. So cute and I usually like to put two die cuts or like two freebies in every order um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just go grab a one of my little circular logo stickers for the corner and that's what the little parcel is gonna look like update I've gone ahead and made the second design of the Mother's Day parent day cards and I think this is my favorite card yet it's so 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 cute um, and I just printed out the die cuts that I'm going to put in the Cricut right now. So one of these will come with the card. And then I'm also going to be doing the sticker sheets of those. So I'll show you all that when that's finished. And then we're going to film a video. So let's keep on getting on. I just finished making all of the Mother's Day sticker and cards. And now I'm doing the product photography. In case you wanted to see my setup, this is kind of what we got going on. I got right up here, you know, supervising as always. We, I had second thoughts about this design. It doesn't print well for us and I can't do borderless printing and I just really like a more minimal style. So we actually just changed this greeting card to be this. So it has this really nice shadowing around Rye, um, but the bed is kind of taken out and it's much more minimal and I am in love with this redesign. So sometimes it's to show that it's not always worth it to go with your first instinct sit on it and make sure you really like what you're gonna post. So I'm gonna make these, take pictures of them, and then finally film a YouTube video. It's about 4.40, by the way. It's 4.53, it has been a crazy busy day. Just finished reshooting the new design of the I Love You Latte cards. I'm really, really happy with the redesign for these. Glad that we took the time to do that, but it is about to be five o'clock, and so Anani and I have a meeting with their sister in seven minutes, they're playing jazz music while I'm filming. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, so we're about to go to this meeting, but my day is not even close to over. So, well, it's fine. But I still have to film that YouTube video that's going up tomorrow. So after this meeting, that is going to be the first thing I do. And then after that, it's just some admin editing stuff. So... I will check in with you after the meeting and after I film the YouTube video because this is getting long and boring. And then I have some questions to answer because I did some Q&A question asking on Instagram. So I will check in with you once I'm pretty much done with everything to do that. Don't mind how sweaty I am. It's hot in here. It is 6.02. So I just finished filming my YouTube video, finished the meeting I was having. Both went beautifully. I am tired. <laughs> it has been a long, long day. I started at about eight o'clock this morning. So this has been a cool studio vlog to show y'all just kind of how hectic it can be sometimes. Again, we have a product launch tomorrow, which is why I had to kind of, you know, tweak designs, make sure everything was perfect and ready to go. Had quite a few orders to ship out. It's been a busy, but very, very, very productive day. And we are almost there. I have about an hour and a half, I think about more of work to do, which is just some editing and some uploading of stuff. Um, but so right now, I want to get to y'all's questions that you asked me on Instagram, which I screenshotted from my phone and put on my computer because I'm using my phone to talk to you. So <laughs> the first question I'm going to answer is someone asked what's the difference between the sticker sheets and the die cuts and why is there a need for both of them? So basically the sticker sheets are these, in case you were confused, and the die cuts are these. So the main difference um, between the two is just that the sticker sheets are kiss cut, so when you pull it off the sheet, it is sticky on the back, um, but it stays intact to the sheet until you need to pull it off and use it. Whereas the die cuts, um, the back is still intact and it gets cut with the back to be the shape of the sticker. And so the die cuts are great for 
um, either using for multiple people or like I include the die cuts with the cards. Some people like the die cuts, they're also bigger than the planner sticker sheets. It wouldn't really be worth it for me to sell sticker sheets with die cuts on them. Um, so like I use the die cuts on my laptop right here um, and they work for anything kind of laptops, gifts, if you want to get a pack of die cuts you can split it with your friends. So it just kind of has um, some different uses whereas the sticker sheets most people are buying to use in their planners or to use in notes to people and that kind of stuff. So just kind of a difference of use so I offer both depending on what people are looking for. Okay, somebody else asked, what does your typical day look like when filling orders? So, my typical day filling orders, there really isn't a typical day. Um, today was a day of filling a lot of orders. Sometimes it can be more literally filling orders all day and doing nothing else. Today I really needed to split my time um, to do the product launch and do some reordering and that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, but today was a pretty standard day in terms of how many orders I try to process per day um, because right now I still have two more outstanding orders on Etsy, one that was ordered throughout the day today, and those I will tackle tomorrow and Monday, um, depending on when stuff arrives because I'm kind of out of some of my supplies, so it's not great, especially given the circumstances things ship slower both to me and to the customer so it sucks when I can't get stuff out super super quick but typically with filling orders I try to just be segmented and get them done earlier in the day so that by the time I'm getting tired at night it's not something I can mess up as easily because we don't want to be messing up the orders you know I'd much rather mess up something I'm filming or taking pictures of because that only affects me so yeah I guess that's it there isn't really a super typical day but today's kind of a good example <laughs> Alrighty, another question I got is what inspired you to start your shop? So I actually was inspired to start my shop on Etsy first because I was really really into cash envelopes and into budgeting and I still really am and I just kind of realized that I really liked the way I was designing them and a lot of people were asking me even on YouTube comments, you know, where did you get your envelopes? Like, I really like how they look so it's like why not just start selling some on Etsy and see how that goes. Um, and then from there, I've always had a love of stationery and planning supplies. I'm a big Happy Planner fan, used to use a bullet journal before I used my Happy Planner. Uh, and I always just loved having a physical planner and stickers and it's just something that makes me really happy about organizing my life. Something that really helps with my anxiety as well. And I've just really loved stationery and custom things and just kind of knowing the lovely people in my circle like my fiance and my best friend who are really great at illustrating, I thought why not team up and start expanding. So. I'm really really excited to be doing um, things like stickers and greeting cards and bookmarks and uh, sticky notes and all of those things on my site so make sure you take a look if you haven't seen some of those products but I'm just really inspired by what I enjoyed and now kind of the joy I can bring to others through paper goods that can be gifts for people and yeah that's kind of why I started it. Alrighty so another question I got was are you planning on expanding your business and how so? So yes I'm planning on expanding my business. It would be my dream someday to be able to do um, this business potentially full time. It would be really really cool. Um, my game plan is to keep expanding through our website domain um, and you know also keeping Etsy as another channel for sales but unfortunately I think eventually I will have to move away from selling cash envelopes just because it's getting pretty overwhelming to keep up with them, um, just because I have to print them and laminate them on demand because they are custom. So I might try to work around that. I want to keep selling them at least for now, but the end goal eventually was to, would be to move more towards doing more stationery and that kind of stuff because that's what I really, really, really enjoy. I love making the cash envelopes though, and I know that y'all love them, so don't worry, they're not leaving anytime soon, but eventually I want to just keep scaling through there, and then potentially even someday maybe selling some of our products through other realtors, um, but I wouldn't want to open a storefront myself, I don't think. Okay, I have two more questions. So the second to last question is, how's your experience been on YouTube so far? So I've really enjoyed uploading stuff on YouTube so far. Um, it's been cool to kind of document what's going on and kind of the different aspects to budgeting and you know um, running my small business and that kind of stuff so um, I've been really enjoying it and I'm really enjoying y'all and the community we're kind of starting to form here so definitely let me know down below too if there's other content you'd like to see more of that I've done before or stuff I haven't done that maybe you would like to see um, or if you have any more questions like these down below I can always do a follow-up Q&A um, but yeah I really really have been liking it so far I like being able to build this community with y'all. Alrighty, and the last question, and I saved this one for last for a reason, because uh, I think it's really funny, is someone asked, what is something Rye does when you're working that you find hilarious? 
And honestly, I think my favorite thing is how much she like hates the cricket and wants to attack it. So the other day she was sitting on the windowsill like behind the cricket and you know, the mat moves back and forth like this so it can cut and it moved and it hit her and she like lost it. Like she was so mad. She started trying to swat at it. I had to like move her around. Um, but yeah, she loves to just, you know, attack the cricket, be all over the place, you know, do quality control. She's very much involved in the business. So if you ever see any cat hair, in your order it is rise you know personal little touch but yeah she has a vengeance out for the cricket so i guess it better watch its back but <laughs> but alrighty y'all that is it for this second etsy studio vlog don't forget to check out the mother's day cards that we made together today as well as the matching stickers for it um we have a lot of new stuff on the shop and on the home page which i will insert a little you know, screen recording of right here. You can see that all of the newest merchandise is actually right on the homepage. So you can go ahead and check there if you aren't following me on Instagram and haven't seen stuff as it's launching. Let me know if you wanna see more studio vlogs. I'm gonna be doing a lot more full-time days um, now that I've been furloughed from my full-time job. So let me know if you wanna see more studio vlogs, how things are going, all that kind of jazz. I would love to do more content like this for y'all if you're interested. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you for staying till the end. And if you are not subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below and turning that bell on so you don't miss any future content from this channel. I'm gonna go finish out this day and eat some pasta. So I will see y'all very, very soon. Goodbye.